The purple finch is really more dark red. In fact, Roger Tory Peterson described it as a sparrow dipped in raspberry juice. They're quite similar to house finches, but are a darker raspberry red, which includes their throat, breast, and back. The belly is whitish, with the wings being brown with a red tinge. The female has a brown striped back, spotted breast, dark crown, and cheeks, and a broad white line through the eye. They have large, short, stubby beaks that they use for cracking open seeds and really like black oil sunflower seeds, although they seem to prefer the thinner ones. They breed in northern North America, but are often seen in winter in northeastern United States as they, remark as they migrate south into the United States and northern Mexico. The males have a rich, warbling song, sometimes including songs of other species, usually sung from a high perch. They like cool, evergreen forests, but will also live in mixed forests and along streams. Their diet is mostly seeds of coniferous trees, elms, tulip poplars, maples, and others. They also eat buds, nectar from the base of flowers, berries, and fruit, along with some insects. In winter, they eat low plants like dandelions, ragweed, and cockleburr. While courting, males will sing softly while hopping and fluffing their feathers, usually with a twig or piece of grass in their beak. Then they fly straight up for about one foot and droop their wings while pointing their beak to the sky. If she is interested, mating can follow. They will build their nests far out on the limb of a coniferous tree or in oaks, maples, and cherries. They can be two and a half to sixty feet off the ground under an overhanging branch. With the female gathering most of the material and the male helping a little, it takes three to eight days to build a nest. She uses twigs, weeds, roots, and sticks, then lines it with fine grass and animal hair. It's usually seven inches wide and four inches high. She then lays two to seven pale greenish blue eggs with brown and black markings and incubates them for 12 to 13 days. They will remain in the nest for 13 to 16 days. If another bird irritates them, they will lean toward the bird with their neck stretched out and the bill pointed at them. They'll actually attack another bird by pecking them sometimes.